everyone, Pastor Stacy here. I am bringing you a lesson for Transfiguration Sunday. Kind of a big word, isn't it? Transfiguration Sunday is always celebrated um, the Sunday before Ash Wednesday. So this year it's celebrated on February 14th, 2021. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to share with you some scripture. So if you want to grab your Bible, go grab your Bible. And we're going to have an activity where we're going to draw and color and add some stickers if you want. And then um, in between, we'll have some questions. So I will ask you some questions. And if you have somebody that you can... Uh, now just kind of stop the video and talk with them about, about the video, about the questions. Um, or if you want to stop the video and maybe write down some of, your, some of your thoughts about the questions. But it'd probably work best if you're younger to kind of talk about some of the questions with, a, with an older brother or uh, somebody who's a little bit older or a parent or somebody. Okay? So, we're going to start with the Gospel, and the Gospel for today is from the Gospel of Mark. If you open up your Bible, in the second part of the Bible is going to be your New Testament, and then the second book in the New Testament is the Gospel of Mark. Alright, we're going to start with chapter 9, verse 2. Six days later... Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah with Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwelling places, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Peter did not know what to say, for he and James and John were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Suddenly, when Peter, James, and John looked around, they saw no one with them, only Jesus. As they were all coming down the mountain, Jesus ordered them to tell no one about what they had seen until after the Son of Man had risen from the dead. All right. So that is our reading for today. Now, a couple questions about the reading. What is a space you like to go to to be alone with God? Okay? What is a space, or maybe it's a place, that you like to go to to be alone with God? Stop the video and go and talk about where you like to go to be alone with God. Okay, the next question is, who are the ancestors that paved the way for you? So the ancestors, an example would be... Um, People who are part of your family, such as your parents and your grandparents and your great-great-grandparents, um, but also ancestors. We have ancestors of our faith, and we have ancestors in, our, in the world who paved the way for us in many different ways. Um, yeah, I could give you a bunch of examples, but... Um, I will let you guys talk about that 
who are the ancestors that paved the way for you? Stop the video and go and talk about that. And then the last question is, who in your life inspires you? So is there somebody in your life right now that inspires you? Now what that means is that inspires you, makes you want to be like that person, wants you to do good. So is there someone in your life who is always kind to people? Is there somebody in your life who... Um, who uh, helps people? Is there somebody in your life who uh, talks to people no matter who the person is? All right, stop the video and go and talk about that question. All right, now we're gonna do our activity. And so I will walk you through and the nice thing about video is you can stop and replay it. Because if you're like me, you have to hear the, the directions many times. So take your piece of paper, a pen, or something to write with, and make a line. And then write your name above the line. Okay? And then... Then you draw lines above, above your, your name. So here's my name, Stacy, and then I drew lines here, mom and dad, and then above them, I drew two more lines for their parents. So mom and dad, mom and dad, or to me, grandma and grandpa, you'll see. Okay, so this is my ancestor tree. This is me, my ma, my dad, my grandma, my grandpa, my grandma, my grandpa. Now your tree it might look different. Your tree might look like a mom and a stepdad, or it may be a mom and a mom, or it may be a dad and a stepmom and a mom. Um, it, it can definitely look different than mine, but this is what my tree looks like, okay? So draw, draw your tree however it looks, writing down the different, um, your different ancestors. Okay, now here, this is the, the end result. So, I have up here, okay, this is Dad. So, this is Grandpa Mo and Grandma Nellie, and this is Ma. So this is Grandpa Al and Grandma Seal. Now what you do is you draw two lines on the outside of your name. So that makes the trunk of the tree. And then I don't draw trees really good, so I always just make a big lollipop tree. And that's what I did here. I made a big lollipop tree around my ancestors, and then I decorated it. I have a bunch of Wonder Woman stickers, and so I added those to all of the different people. And then I wrote down something that I, uh, that I remember, something that uh, I think of when I think of that person. When I think of my mom, I always think of cooking. She was a really good cook. When I think of my dad, I always think of how he loved to build and create. And I also remember stacking firewood, lots of firewood. With Grandma Seal, I remember uh, going for walks all the time. Grandma Seal never drove. She never learned how to drive, so she walked everywhere. And every Saturday, we would walk uh, to the salon so she would get her hair done. Grandpa Al, I didn't write anything because I didn't know him. Uh, he died when I was three years old. So I, I just know some stories that my mom told me before my mom died. Grandma Nellie, I remember spending Christmas with her. 
and Grandpa Mo, I always remember the smell of a pipe. All right, so take time, stop the video if you need to, and decorate this, uh, color it in, um, put on stickers, doodle, draw all over it, okay? When you're done with this, then you can take it off and hang it in your room or maybe on, um, on the wall, kind of like near your bed. So when you wake up in the morning, and when you wake up in the morning, you see your ancestors and you can say thank you to your ancestors. And before you go to bed at night, you can see your, your tree of ancestors. All right, two more things. All right, with the, the link to watch this video, there should be a PDF which has a coloring page. And if you have uh, siblings who are uh, in confirmation, they know I love coloring pages. And so I've colored mine in already. Um, and it is a, a reading, it's part of the, the gospel. And there appeared it to them, Elijah and Moses, and it continues on. So uh, have your parents print this out for you. And if ever uh, it's a problem to print off the page, if you don't have a printer or if you run out of paper or ink, just contact the church office and we can uh, print one out and drop it in the mail to you, okay? So just contact the church office. All right. This ends our lesson, but let's end our time together with a prayer. Okay, let's pray. Transforming God, you are with us as we change and grow into our best selves. You connect us to people who came before us and you uplift us today. Help us, God. Help us be the people you call us to be. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Bye.